afternoon, and thank you for coming to my backyard. I'm Nettie Hammond, and I am from Hancock. <laughs> and I have the distinct pleasure of having those turbines on the ridge behind my house. I am opposed to all three of the bills. Nettie, could I'm for, sorry. No, no, no. For, for members of the committee who, uh, depending on when we finish up, have some time, and, and are driving around. What road do you live on, just I'm so they can get some? Absolutely, Whitman Road. That's the road that connects Brody Mountain and 43. And just so you all know, and so we can tell the others, out here, right, and then it's a left after about a half a mile or so up Three the quarters, hill. Yeah, right. and the road goes up and down and up and down. So, um, thank you very much, I just, no. for perspective. Actually, I would invite all of you to come. There's a field opposite my home that I own that you can walk in and walk to the back of and see them um, and hear them. I have been opposed to these turbines from their initial um, inception 10, 12, 13 years ago. Um, and I want to say that I have agreed with absolutely everything that's been said here today by those who are in opposition. And like the gentleman before me, I have learned an enormous amount and I thought I knew a lot about this whole thing. And actually, it probably is just a little tiny bit that I really know. Um, I think a couple of issues that I would like to address which have not been spoken to are the, the health issues that are only now being studied. And, and the doctor who spoke earlier, I think, had a great deal of important information that the state needs to look at. And the gentleman before me just said the state is now studying health issues. Um, I'd like to know where. I don't see them in Hancock, okay? <laughs> there are 10 of those turbines on the ridge behind my house. There are lots of people who live on Whitman Road. There are lots of people who live on Route 43. Um, I don't know if anybody's been spoken to regarding health issues. Might be something to address. The cost issues involved in the litigation, should it get to litigation, of the appeal process. We're a bunch of small towns. Hancock, I believe, maybe we have 704 people. Could we really have afforded to go into the judicial process with lawyers? I don't know. I was part of the fight against the turbines, and I will tell you that it was not cheap and at one point, I finally had to say, I can't do this anymore. My lawyer said to me, Nettie, there has to come a point where you're willing to say, I don't care how much I spend, or I do care. Well, I had to, I had to care. I do not have a deep pocketbook. All of the wind developers have very deep pocketbooks, and they can fight again and again. Small towns, as we all know, were having trouble getting money, raising money. Our home values are deteriorating, not the least of which is the economy. Which brings me to another comment that was made, that it's going to help our local economy. Well, I watched them build the turbines here, and guess what? Maybe 10, 12, 14 trucks of the workers, where were they from? Maine. They were not from Massachusetts. So where was the money? Well, sure, the folks who rented them a place to live and the folks who had restaurants. Great. Ongoing economic benefit to the town of Hancock in terms of what? Maybe we got our amount of money for um, payment in lieu of taxes, but I don't see any employment, A, here in Hancock, let alone in greater Berkshire County. So let's be a little careful when we talk about economic development when A, we sure as heck didn't build the turbines. They were probably built in China, but we don't know for sure. So let's be a little careful when we talk about economic development coming to Massachusetts. Um, it may not be the critical point that that's gonna work. The gentleman whose name I believe was Rothstein from West Stockbridge spoke to the issue that we had achieved approximately 17% of the goal of <clears throat> reaching renewable energy. May I suggest that the next 8% rather 
them tearing down mountainsides and ripping up roads and doing all the things that I've watched happen here. And I've watched the debris roll down the mountain when the first developer didn't bother to deal with the environmental issues. Before we start doing that, let's talk about spending some money on promoting real conservation on a very personal level. I am a single person, I have one dog, I have a big house, I have a 3,400 square foot house. On a very limited basis, I drop my electric bill from $150 a month to $75 a month. And I have a well which has to pump. I have lights on, I have computers, I have satellites, I have all these fancy gadgets that we all want. But I was able, without anybody's help, little old me, drop my own bill by 75 bucks a month. Well, I saved myself some money, and I'm reducing my impact, what I have to use. People earlier discussed the issue of not in my backyard. Well, folks, I'm right there with her. They are in my backyard, and they are horrible. And I opposed them originally, not based on their looks, not based on the sound, but based on the cost-benefit ratio, which is so small as to make me cry. Now, I go out in my backyard at night, now, I cannot see them from my house, but I can hear them. And I didn't know what I had before, because I had silence. The silence of living in the country. And when I tell you I'm a Brooklyn baby, born and bred, I've lived in the Berkshires for 28 years now, and I had no clue how important the silence is. I can hear the turbines when I have the windows in my family room open because they echo off the trees across the field. Let's not have the rest of the state have to find out after the fact what they're missing because we're going to meet this mandate of 25% of renewable energy using wind power. This is a beautiful part of the world that I chose to live in 28 years ago. I chose to bring my children here, to raise them in a better place than Brooklyn, New York. And I was raised in Brooklyn, and I didn't do so badly. But I want something better. So in conclusion, may I suggest that we do something really hard and go back and look at these bills and see are they really the kinds of things that we want to have here in Massachusetts? The, the, the turbines themselves, and let alone these bills, which I do not think actually address the issues which everybody else has so beautifully addressed that I don't need to reiterate. So thank you. Thank you for your testimony. I appreciate it. Any questions?